today I'm filming a what I eat in the day video because I haven't filmed like health fitnessy videos in a while just because I've been too busy at school and I've had soccer and I really haven't had the time. Just had the time to do like mini vlogs and stuff like that. So today I'm starting back with that health video trend thing with a what I eat in the day video. So this is my protein oats I'm gonna be eating this morning. It's just oats, protein powder, chia seeds, hemp seeds, peanut butter, almond milk, blueberries, banana, and a bit of coconut nectar for sweetness. So that's what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast. It's pretty late, but that doesn't matter. I'm eating it for breakfast, and yeah. Oh, come here, come in. Aww. Good boy, I love you. All right guys, so I'm about to go work out right now. I'm just gonna do a short little warm up run and then I'm gonna do hill sprints. So this is a workout you can basically do anywhere. If you don't have hills, you can do stair sprints. If you don't have stairs, you can just do like basic sprints like in front of your house on the street or anything. So definitely go warm up before because it's like, especially today, look at this, it's freezing out. So it's not sunny, nothing. It's like 60 degrees and yes, that's freezing for me. So if you don't live somewhere where it snows and your road is nice, you can do this year round. I'm just gonna go for a quick warm up run, stretch a bit, and then I'm gonna do like 10 to 15 hill sprints. It depends how long your hill is, how steep your hill is, how ever many you can do, how fit you are. So yeah, I will show you guys the type of hills I'm doing, what circuits I do. Today I think I'm gonna do 10 and then between each hill sprint, I'm gonna do like push ups and burpees and do more of like a plyometric circuit type of workout instead of just sprints. Just because I've been really into like doing like full body circuits and all that instead of strictly running recently. So I'm just trying to incorporate both of them together and create an even funner, funner, better workout. So hope you guys enjoy this workout and keep watching if you wanna see the workout. Also, subscribe. Thank you. See you at the workout. Bye. Love you. I ran my mile warm up, now I'm just stretching, and then I'm gonna be doing my hill sprints right here. I'm just going, let me show you. I'm just gonna sprint up, go down, sprint up, come down, and I'm gonna do 10 push ups, then I'm gonna sprint up, jog down, sprint up, jog down, then I'm gonna do 10 jump squats, and I'm gonna do that, I think I'm gonna do 12, or like 12 sprints, so that makes like six circuit things, which makes three of each. College education right there. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm like procrastinating doing this. Can I give you this, please? All right. Uh, Motivated. We're good. We got this. Christmas spirit right in the window right there. I'm showing the Christmas tree. Let's go. We're doing it for all the goodies we can eat. One, two, right. three. Hit it. Straight into the push ups. It'll be like our active rest type of thing. So now that we're done with the push ups, our active rest, we're just going straight into it. Pretty sure that car tried racing up the hill. Pretty sure it won too. <laughs> I'm going to train to our 10 jump squats and then we'll have a little rest period after. That's our first circuit complete. Two more and then we're done. I'll see you guys when I'm done working out. So, by the end of that circuit, you should really be, it's really like a, more of a hit circuit, so your heart should really be beaten <laughs> and push yourself as hard as you can. I like to push myself a lot. It's like by the end of a, like a workout like this, I don't want to be able to like I don't want to be able to talk easily. But obviously based on your fitness level and circumstances, modify it for your needs. <laughs> okay, I'll explain it the workout in the video. <laughs> so I went to Trader Joe's and got my avocados for today's meal. It's 5.10 right now and all I've had today was, well, what you guys saw. And that kept me over for a long time, but I'm now starving. So I'm gonna have kind of like a late lunch, early dinner type thing. So I was thinking of making kind of like avocado burgers, except instead of using a bun, I'm just gonna use a piece of gluten-free toast. But 
while I make that, I'm going to be eating Tsuma mandarins. I think they're like Tsuma mandarins or something. Some kind of citrus thing, so. No, I'm not eating it like that. I'm just starting to peel. Because I hate it when it gets in your nail, you know? It's gross. So, yeah. I'm gonna eat a few of these. I'll let you guys know how many I eat. And I'm gonna get our little meal, dinner, lunch thing started. I'm just using this organic ground beef, 85% lean, from Trader Joe's. I really recommend getting organic meats. Some things like avocados, these little suckers right here, I didn't get organic because apparently like the skin absorbs the pesticides. But in beef, in other meats, and other vegetables that don't really have a thick skin and just absorb all the pesticides. It's pretty important to get like grass fed, no hormones, no pesticides, all that in your meats at least, just because it's so much better for you and whatever you eat kind of, you are what you eat. So if you eat pesticides, it's gonna get absorbed into your body and it's really not good for you. Not good for your body, it's not natural, so yeah. And the Catherine brought back some sushi, so I'm gonna have some of that while my burger's cooking also. Ah. Let's try one of these babies. Smoked salmon, avocado, and cucumber. It's good, it's pretty boring, but... Sorry if there's much in the background, we turned the vent on, but... Yeah. Anyways, this is what I'm gonna be eating so far with maybe a little bit of ketchup right here. That's just spring mix, avocado, half a pound of beef. My bread's right here. I don't know if you can really see it. And I'm gonna start with that. And then I'll probably end up eating the other burger too because I'm hungry. This is the other burger patty. It's the other half a pound. And I'm just gonna eat this with a quarter of an avocado and then a bit of ketchup. I was gonna have a kombucha to kind of like rinse that burger down and all that. And I bought this one from Trader Joe's. It's pomegranate hibiscus kombucha fermented black tea beverage. And it tastes absolutely disgusting. Dinner was delicious. I love kombucha. I'm gonna have some chocolate after. This day was amazing, but this kombucha, mm -mm. So for dessert, I'm just gonna have a bit of this Loving Earth Berry Crunch chocolate. By far my favorite chocolate ever, and this is by far my favorite flavor. Hey Spencer, you're still not getting anything. And if you haven't heard of it, it's kind of like an Australian company, and everything is vegan, direct trade, cane sugar free, soy free, dairy free, gluten free. Everything you would want in a dessert, basically. 